My friends, the wait is over. After a long time, and I mean, it made a very long time, at least it was perceived to be such by me, uh, the IMPC Pro app is finally released. I, and I'm telling you, I'm so excited about it. I, I refreshed the App Store like, like, like by the minute. It was so exciting. Um, so it was released, and I downloaded it as quickly as I could, and I've been playing around with it for the past two days. And I wanted to get a video out sooner, but also I just I wanted to I just wanted to play with the app. It's been so fun. And there's nothing that I can say in this video that will top with the with the video series that Retronyms has already done. Check out this link right here for their playlist, and it's really awesome. These are all the videos that they did every week leading up to the release, which just happened this week. And uh, and it's a really good video series to kind of give you a good feel of the ins and outs of the product. And in fact, I visited Retronym's office the other week, and they gave me the uh, um, they gave me an iPad Mini to, to tap around in. But honestly, I was so nervous in front of the, the two founders of Retronym's that I didn't you know I didn't do a good job. And I was, uh, but it was really cool. You know, they were really nice, and and uh, they showed me around the office and showed me their equipment, showed me the preview build of um, uh, of IMPC Pro. And, uh, and it was really cool. So I want to say what's up to the to you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get started. Let me show you a few of the cool things that I've uh, experienced in the past few days with IMPC Pro. And I'll be making other videos about IMPC Pro in the near future as well. So this is the main interface, and there's a few treats right away. So. I gave this uh, to my to my daughter, and she found the Flux Link really quickly. The Flux Link is a way to glitch the pads that you're using, and it, you can think of it kind of as like an X Y. So on the X axis you have low pass and high pass, and on the Y axis you have the speed of the glitch, a quarter note, eighth, sixteenth, and thirty second note. So. Um, <laughs> So just to explain really quickly what a low and a high pass filter are, just in case you're not familiar, if you are, correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm probably wrong, but a low pass filter uh, is a filter that filters out the wavelengths that are not low in the wave. So let me hit the... See how the low noises are still represented in this wave, but the high, the high are taken out, the low. Right, we can move over the high. Only the high notes are remaining while the lows are filtered out. That's that's what a high pass is. The high uh, tones are are passing through the filter, and the low t uh, and and the low tones are getting filtered out in a high pass filter. Okay, so that's the flux link. This slider, which normally does my note variations based on either velocity. Tuning, resonance, which I'm not actually sure what that is, or filter, this increases the envelope that it's in. Okay, um, if I go to 3D perform, these different uh, variations turn into actual buttons right here. And the way that I can use the slider is actually by, by picking up the iPad and using the, uh, what's it called, the uh, gyroscope inside. So let me show you what that's like. Pick it up, I'm going to hold down tune. You getting that? So it's actually very difficult to use because you have to hold the thing and then hold one of the buttons and then drum out a thing. So uh, like... Like this. See, like it's really hard under a camera, but it's really hard otherwise as well. So I, I hope that Retronyms will, you know, um, kind of sort that out. I, I mentioned it in a comment and or a tweet or something like that, and they responded. I think JP responded that he wants to link the three D perform to the uh, to the Flux link, but. So, so the problem I have with that is, 
is that number one, it's it's only for new notes. So the the 3D perform will only get new notes. If I record notes and then try to mess with the 3D perform, nothing will happen. It's only with new strikes on the keypad. So um, with the the drum pads. So it so that's one of the bigger problems. That it would be pretty cool if you could, you know, hammer out a pattern and then pick up your iPad and like wave it about, you know, and, and then the you know, have interesting filters and tunes and resonances change uh, based on the way you're tilting it. But as it stands right now, it's you have to kind of hold it in the air while you drum on it. So maybe not a great maybe not a great implementation right now, but I have hopes that you know they 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 come around for a little a little bit of an update there. I'm just gonna you know kind of make that the end of the of the video. Let me leave you just with this quick little jam. <laughs>